Hello everyone and let's check out another amazing chess game by Bobby Fischer. And in this chess game, Fischer has the white pieces and his opponent is Oscar Pano, who was also a very formidable player. And this game was played in Buenos Aires, Argentina in 1970 when Bobby Fischer was at his peak. And Oscar Pono was indeed a very good player. He was already a grandmaster when he was 20 years old. And Oscar Pano was multiple times South American chess champion. He won the Argentinian chess championship and he was one time candidate. Oscar Pano was a tough player to defeat. But in this era, at this time, Bobby Fischer was at his peak. He was the real Bobby Fischer, defeating every opponent, every strong players, left and right. And in the Buenos Aires Chess Tournament in 1970, Bobby Fischer scored 13 wins and only managed to draw four times and lost zero times. He never lost any games in the Buenos Aires Chess Tournament in 1970 and he finished the tournament at the first place. The player who was in the second place scored seven wins. So as you can see, Bobby Fischer was magnificent at this time. And for the records, Oscar Pono finished the chess tournament in the third place. So anyway, let's check out how this game went on. So Bobby Fischer starts the game with playing e4, c5 by Pono, the Sicilian defense, knight to f3, e6, d3, knight to c6, g3, g6, and bishop to g2 by Bobby Fischer, the king's Indian attack, bishop to g7, and Fischer castled, knight from g to e7, rook to e1, d6, c3, and also Oscar Pano castled, and both players are fighting for the better position. And let's skip ahead to a more important and one of the key moments of the game for saving time. So after knight to b8, the game transformed into this position at move 20. Well, Fischer played bishop to h6 at move 21, offering to exchange the bishops, knight to d7, queen to g5. The threat is very simple, capturing the bishop and then capturing the knight. So Oscar Pano decided to simplify the game. He captured the rook. Bishop takes on h6, queen takes bishop, and also exchanging the other rooks, simplifying the game. Fischer played h5, hoping to open the h-file. Queen to d8, knight to g5 by Fischer, threatening checkmate in two moves. So defending with the knight, it looks like Pano is defending well, but still it looks dangerous for black. After knight to f8, Fischer played an incredible move. Bobby Fischer played bishop to e4, sacrificing the bishop, but Pano didn't capture the bishop. He played queen to e7. If accepting the sacrifice, then knight 3 takes on e4. And how to defend knight to f6? There is no defense, believe it or not. a4, knight to f6. If black doesn't want to lose the queen, let's say king to h8, then knight takes on f7, checkmate. Black is getting checkmated. So Bobby Fischer played bishop to e4, and what a beautiful move. Queen to e7 by Pano. Pano was strong enough player to realize that after capturing the bishop, he is doomed. And what would you do in this position? This is the key moment of the game. And Bobby Fischer played an incredible move. Bobby Fischer played knight takes on h7, sacrificing the knight. And what else? Pano captured the knight. And h takes on g6, attacking the knight. f takes on g6. And bishop takes on g4. The idea is this. Fischer wants to play knight to h5. And then jumping on f6 with the knight. That would be a deadly threat for Pano. Pano played knight to g5. 
Knight to h5 by Fischer, as expected. Threatening to play knight to f6, Pano played knight to f3, check. King to g2, and then knight to h4, forking the king, and the bishop. King to g3, and Pano captured the bishop. If capturing the knight with the queen, that would be a blunder, because the black king is running away. In this position, Bobby Fischer played knight to f6, that's check, not capturing the knight. And this was the better move. Oscar Pano didn't capture the knight. Well, of course, if capturing the knight, black is losing the queen. So Pano played king to f7. It is white to move, and after that move, Oscar Pano resigned. Fischer simply played queen to h7, and Mr. Oscar Pano resigned, because he is getting checkmated in next move, and there is no sensible defense. Black is getting checkmated. That's why the strong Argentinian player, Oscar Pano, resigned. And what an incredible, marvelous, flawless chess game by Bobby Fischer. So let me show you the possible continuation, only for fun. King to f8 and queen to g8. Check. Mate. What a game by Bobby Fischer. An incredible game. One of the notable chess games of Bobby Fischer, which every chess fan should know. So this is why Fischer played queen to h7 and Pano resigned. And thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Take care, and bye-bye.